Well, at least the coyotes are awake. Been working most of the day, uh, time for a meeting. I'm gonna jump in the Alfa Romeo Julia. I'm gonna head out to Agora, meeting John Grapman at a Starbucks to do a little pre-meeting chit chat. And then we got an interesting meeting with the uh, Motor Press Guild. So uh, we'll let you know how that goes. But I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, but I just can't film in the meeting itself. It's gonna be cool. in the Julia heading up into town because my good friend Paul Grisante said that he would like to um, take this car for a spin. You know, drive it. I don't know if he's uh, thinking about buying one, but I told him I'd come over and pick him up and we'll go for a little bit of drive. Got this car for maybe another couple of days. Uh, the, the Hyundai Accent is going back tomorrow and in its place is coming the Genesis G90. I've been waiting for this car for a while. It's the big daddy Genesis. Serious Luxo car and you and I are going to be tooling around in it for a week. Doesn't that sound like fun? And that's cool because this weekend on Saturday is the Grand National Roadster Show and why not drive a luxury car to that show? Makes perfect sense. up Paul. He's a realtor. Works for Colwell Banker. Look, it's Paul. Wow. Can I grab sunglasses? <laughs> uh, we're in the car and Paul can't, is. can't figure out how to start the car. Oh, you found it. I found it. It's kind of hidden. All right. All right. So, um, First time in the Alpha. You like it though? First time. Actually, I, I sat in another Alpha mm -hmm. at the Peterson Museum when mm -hmm. they were exhibiting it, but you couldn't really drive it. Look how tiny you look in this car. You know? Maybe it's just. Wait, look oh, how big you look are. Look at that. There it is. But I'm they, a they, very small person. <laughs> they let you drive it for about, um, you know, like one block or something? They let me drive it out of the parking lot, mm -hmm. drive down 8th Street for several blocks mm -hmm. in bumper to bumper traffic. Fun. Turn around, go down a block, yeah. come back in bumper to bumper traffic, and bring it in. So, so you know what it's like in traffic. Then. I know what it's like in hideous traffic, and yeah. I have no idea what it would be like in. I'm doing something wrong there. <laughs> there, I have no idea what it would be like to drive it somewhere where there is actually some chance of cornering. Oh, yeah. Well, we have a few corners in Malibu, so let's go see if we can find some. That's neutral. There you go. You gotta keep the brake on or else it won't shift. <laughs> It's almost like a sport tour car. You know? It's like a sport tour car. And I actually it is. Yeah. Uh, seeing as how you are a huge car guy and you know all the answers to all car questions. You ready? I am ready. I will pretend to be the the swami of cars. Okay, car swami. Where is it legal in California and for 
for pretty much any state for that matter to drive as fast as you want. On a racetrack. No, no, I'm not talking about public roads, man. Don't try to like manipulate the, the answers. What part are you allowed to drive as fast as you want? You guys know the answer to this question? I know some of you do. I think it's a trick question of some sort, nope, but not, I don't know the answer. It's not a trick. You want to think about it for... Yeah, let me think about it for a couple of miles. And we're back. He's been thinking for about um, two seconds. And he just... says, going up a hill, perhaps. We're going up Grand Canyon. Um, one of the nicer roads. I'll have to show you this to you. But the answer is that you can go as fast as you want on an on-ramp to a freeway. Really? Just as long as by the time you hit the freeway, you're going the speed limit. Well, that's an exceptionally good idea. Yeah, I've, I've even talked to cops about this. Well, that's because yeah. they are fed up with people who don't know how to merge. But if they do see you driving 100 miles an hour on the on-ramp... And then slowing down to 60... They're still going to pull you over. You're still going to get in trouble. Probably so, for exhibition of speed. Yes, right. Uh, as we are exhibitionists sometimes. With our clothes on. No less. What do you think? What's the final thoughts? Uh, tell me something you don't like. That this drive is over? Uh, that's a good one. Nice segue. Excellent. So what's what's your favorite thing about the car? My favorite thing about the car, I love the way the uh, steering wheel feels. I love the fact that the um, actual the shifters mm -hmm. are good, having used them, the paddles. Right, because they're long, which is nice. They're paddles, they can, they're nicely located. Yep. And there's enough of them that you can touch them just about any time you want. Yeah. And uh, I like, I love the way the car looks from the outside, but mostly I love the way the car feels from the inside. Yeah, the ergonomics are, are really fantastic. And it's the suspension is the firmness I like, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, good deal. All right, we're back. We're back. Tomorrow the Hyundai Accent is adios. I'm keeping the Alpha, and then the 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 Accent is going to be replaced 
by the Genesis G90, which I mentioned. Probably not gonna see it tomorrow because I have an epic day going on. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's a really, really big day. Uh, going out to see Michael, we're grabbing a couple of Jaguars and we're going to a Jaguar shop. I'm gonna be able to show you guys that. This guy is one of the foremost uh, um, uh, restorers and builders and, and this guy, you know, a guy that works on lots of Jaguars. And I get to see a friend of mine that I haven't seen uh, since high school. It's been a long time. James, if you're watching this, you know I'm coming to see you, buddy. Then I'm leaving that shop. I'm going over to see my brother, Ethan. We're going to have lunch together and uh, hang out a little bit. And then in the evening at around 5 o'clock, I'm going to go visit uh, my buddy Bob Beck. Bob has been to Wheels and Waves. He's got a radio program. So we're going to go and get on the radio and talk about all the nonsense and stuff that we're doing. Gear switch, gear switch. Uh, be sure to go over to my website to uh, fireballtim.com because we have the calendar. It's been updated for the year. It's going to be going to keep evolving. There's going to be a lot of events this year. A lot of shows that are actually peppered throughout the calendar. I don't necessarily have dates, but they fall into that month. A lot of them do have dates, and uh, one of them is uh, the Grand National Roaster Show, which I'm going to this weekend. I'm going to take you guys with me. Thanks to all you guys who've been leaving comments on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Shoutouts to George J-O-R-G-E 6609. He really likes the, the Lambo that looks like the um, Back to the Future car. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Chrissy Howe won over in England. She saw an Aston Martin. She also saw a um, Maserati at a posh supermarket. I'd like to see what a posh supermarket looks like. And Car Culture Project posted this great video. You notice that? Burnout. <laughs> That was from yesterday's vlog. If you saw on yesterday's vlog, um, uh, Henry Henry's Upholstery on Instagram, uh, he brought a couple of his pups and a couple of those small little trailers. He built those things. He's got an upholstery shop. I mean, the, the stuff is flawless. This is Henry. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at that face. Huh. Really appreciate you guys leaving comments and uh, and sharing the love, you know, because that, that's what this is about, man. Our culture, our car culture is going to thrive, it's going to grow, it's going to expand. As long as you guys love what you do and you spread that love. And that's about giving. That's that's really what, you know, what it's all about. It comes down to one word and that, well, it's not just one word. It's giving is an important part of it. Passion is an important part of it. Love is an important part of it. And I love you guys. I love all you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again for February's Wheels of Waves. But I got a lot of vlogs to do, man. A lot of vlogs to do, a lot of cool cars, a lot of cool stuff that's going on. Do what you love, love what you do. We'll see you guys tomorrow.